Never miss another fabulous cultural event in Kotakachi just because you can't speak Spanish. In other words, tells you what you need to know about life in Kotakachi and Imbabura. And here is our host, Diego Velez. Welcome to Another Words. We're here, and today we have a great show. We have a really nice interview with Fernando Baez. I think you're really going to enjoy that, and he'll be in concert tomorrow in San Antonio. We'll tell you about that in a minute. But right now, I just want to welcome you and tell you that uh, a lot of stuff going on this weekend and things coming up. So welcome to Another Words. It should be a good show today, and everybody's ready in the sound booth. Find out about the local events in Kotakachi before they happen on What's Going On. Yeah, that's the question. What is going on? So what is going on is on Saturday, the 27th of October at 7 a.m. for your early birds, there's a Mohanda Walk in Otavalo, 37th annual hike, hiking up to the lake. And you can call 0629204604 for information and to register. I guess it's a really nice walk and it uh, should be a nice day. The Mohanda Walk in Otavalo. And also in Otavalo, they're having a festival, November 1st through the 3rd, the Wawapan Fest. There's going to be dancing, music, food. In Coliseo, there's going to be danza. It's the fourth annual. So check it out in um, Otavalo, the Wawapan Fest, number one through three, and uh, should be a lot of fun in the Coliseo. Also coming up uh, Saturday, as I mentioned earlier, there's going to be a great concert in San Antonio de Ibarra, which is on the way to Ibarra if you've never been there. Um, good friend Fernando Baez is going to be playing music and uh, some new age and some other music, and he's going to be playing at La Piedra Roja, so that'll be really nice, and you can take a bus a van will take you from Cotocachi for $2 there and back, ida y regreso, for $2. And you can't beat that deal. And then once you get there, there's really nice food there and also art by my good friend Diego Butron. So he's going to have a sale on his art. So check out the art. So for $2, you can get to San Antonio, go back there and back. And the, uh, the van will leave about 6.30 and it'll bring you back to San Francisco Plaza. So the van will leave from San Francisco Plaza. So check it out. I'll be there and uh, I think you'll really enjoy his music. He's a really incredible musician from Ibarra. But uh, that's Saturday night, 6.30 in San Antonio Plaza. San Francisco Plaza, perdón. So uh, make sure you get there and call, send an email to Julie Powell. You can reserve your spot. And um, good food, good music, good art. ¿Qué más quieres? Also, November the 10th, which is a long time from now, is in Ibarra. You're gonna, my good friend Juan Corrido is going to have Conciertos Sentidos in El Gong, El Gong Cafe, which is in Ibarra from 8 to 9.30 p.m. If you've never seen these concerts, it's really amazing. It's a multi-sensory kind of a trip, you know, almost like a out-of-your-body experience, and really recommend that. That's November 10th. I'll be talking more about that. Conciertos Sentidos in El Gong Cafe from 8 to 9.30 p.m., and that's in Ibarra. And also in Ibarra, there's the Underfest, which is Saturday, November 3rd. It's going to be a rock concert for all you rockers out there. And that starts at 1,500 hours, which is like, what is that, like two or three? And that costs $5. It's rock music. And that's going to be in El Parque San Martín in Ibarra. It's going to be from 3 to 11 p.m. So, you know, if you like to rock out and stay up late, you can go to Ibarra for Underfest. So that's some of the things that are going on in Imbabura.
Hun Hurtu from Mongolia, 60 Horses on My Head. I love that band. You know, they're just uh, pretty magical. So thank you. And so now we're going to go right into part one of Something to Talk About, part one of our interview with Fernando Baez at the Museo de las Culturas. Listen to the special people who define Kodakachi here on Something to Talk About. So we're here with Fernando Baez, and we're going to be talking about how he learned to play piano or instruments and music, how music became a part of his life. So welcome, Fernando, and Diego Butron, artist friend of mine, who's going to be having an exposition and also a concert on the 20th of October in San Antonio de Abadro. We invite all of you to come at 7 p.m. Welcome, Fernando. So tell me, how did you learn to play piano or music, and what other instruments do you play? Okay, thank you, Diego. Uh, my family is very musical. Mm -hmm. When I was a little child, maybe five years, 
I used to play some organ. So my mom catch me and she was my first teacher. Oh, nice. Okay. So I was playing. Uh, she taught me uh, children music mm -hmm. and uh, typical music uh, from Ecuador. Mm -hmm. So after that, my uncle, he told them to my parents, oh, listen, he, he has something. Mm, so has some talent. Some talent, yeah. Right, right. So uh, they asked some teachers in, in Ibarra. Mm -hmm. And I was very young. Right. My cousins, they were, they used to play like normal or regular children. Mm -hmm. But I would like to play something, guitar, mm -hmm. organ, piano. Mm -hmm. That's what my, how to begin my... So you started when you were five then? Yeah, wow. five, okay. yeah. Okay. Five. And then I was, I was reading about you and it said that you won a, a scholarship to study music. How did that yeah. happen? That was my dream. Mm -hmm. So I studied music in Ibarra. After that, in Sanchez de Cifuentes, Diego was my partner there. Mm -hmm. So after that, I went to New Jersey. Uh, so Sanchez de Fuentes is a school? The school, high school. Oh, okay, Ibarra, okay, see. okay. Because so it's he, not, the, not the art school? Not no, the, not the art school. Different. Because here in Ecuador, in Nevada, we have to finish high school. Mm -hmm. not, you know, you know, it's regular. obligatory. Obligatory, yeah. Right, right, right. After that, um, I went to the scholarship in oh, okay. New Jersey. Okay, for university. Uh, my first year was in Hunter and Central. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like high school oh, music. Okay, okay. Yeah, after okay. that, I went to the university. Okay, and so you applied for a scholarship and you won it and then you went to New Jersey to study music. Yeah, like, exactly. After high school. Yeah. Okay, that must have been amazing. And did you already speak English at that point or you were learning English? No, yeah, I was learning there. I have to learn there. I all the time, I love English. Five words. Yeah. Obligado. A long time ago. And so I think that's interesting, and then uh, had, that's much really helped your career, you know, once you yeah, started, sure. you went to New Jersey, you learned music, and then what happened, you came back to Ibarra, you came back to Ecuador? Yeah, when I came back, I, I played my first concert here, classical music, maybe 30 years ago, the music in Ibarra was very normal, nothing happens here. When I went, uh, I came back here, I played my first concert music, classical Mozart, Bach, Beethoven, everybody was like, what happened here? Who's this guy? Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> What's happened? Because everybody wants to hear something from Quito, from Guayaquil, right. Rondador, Pasillos, Ecuadorian, exactly. right, right. Yeah, and that was my first experience here. Mm. So people are like, hmm, that's kind of strange, right? Yeah, so it wasn't yeah. typical, because yeah. you weren't playing traditional music. Exactly. Right, 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 right. After that, I was with my first touch with New Age music. Oh, yeah, tell me about that. Yeah, that was... My father has a radio station, maybe... 50 years ago. Okay. Claro. In Nevada. Claro. AM. Not, oh, not AM. FM. Okay. Yeah, AM. Okay. Uh, the Radio Continente. And he received cassette from South Africa. When I hear that cassette, I hear something like, what kind of music is this? Uh, it's not instrumental, it's not classical. Algo diferente, no? Yeah, yeah right, right, right. And I was, classic, what is this? Right. That was my first uh, exposure to yeah. that. Right, right. When I was in New Jersey and mm. New York and other cities, mm. I found that answer. Mm. That was new age music. Oh, right, right, right. So right. I met some musicians, mm -hmm. friends, and they used to play with me. I fall in love with new age. Oh, okay. And tell me, for people that don't know, because I think I do, I know what it is. What is new age? How is that considered new age when people say new age? Maybe, uh, well... New it's like age, more seems like more spiritual or more, more spiritual is like the more cosmic level. Okay, so can you name some artists that you look uh, that you like to listen to? Some new age artists that people yeah, would know? Yeah, maybe Jean Michel Jarre, okay. Kitaro, Yanni of course. Yanni of course, right. Andreas Follenbaida and Tangerine Dreams. Enya, Enya is considered. Enya, yeah. Okay, Enya, yeah. Enya, yeah. That's interesting. And the other thing I was going to ask you is what other kind of music do you like? Because obviously, you know, you play. Tell me the instruments you play besides piano and okay, organ. Okay, I play piano, guitar, drums. Bass, guitar, violin, accordion, mm -hmm. charango, wow. kena, bandonion, the for tango music. Okay, okay. Yeah, banjo. Oh wow, everything. Harp, laser harp, theremin, antenna. Because I noticed on your Facebook page you had a lot of pictures of what do they call electronic equipment. Yeah. Like you know, boss this and a lot of that. I, no entiendo, you know, I don't really know what it is, but I know that for you, it was a very important part of your music is having instruments and also the yeah. technology, you know, the synthesizers and the and you know the electronic stuff. Right? Yeah. So yeah. tell me about some of that. So how does that play in? Because it's not all acoustic. Sometimes yeah, it's, not acoustic. Right. Well, I was. With Jean Michel Jack music, mm -hmm. and he uses the later art okay. and theremin, mm -hmm. and I was trying to find that. Mm, so okay. when I traveled to Europe, I didn't find it. In the States, I didn't find it in, in normal store. So right? laser harp, that's what Laser they're... harp. Because downstairs at the museum, we saw there was a acoustic, harp. Yeah, that's harp, an acoustic harp, acoustic harp, right, right. Yeah, so I had to travel to 
Croatia. Oh, wow. To the factory. Where they make them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. my. That's amazing. In other instruments, technology is very important to develop the music. Right, right, and right. Ideas and right. And so when you buy when you buy the technology, do you have to travel to other countries? Because here it'd probably be very expensive. Yeah, very expensive. Right. And after that, you have to learn how to use work. it. Right, yeah, right, right. It. So you learn how to hook up everything and yeah. how to do that. It's the same it. when I was in Turkey in Japan. Mm -hmm. I bought the typical instruments from mm -hmm. there, or right. China. But I have to take lessons there. Ah, so instrumentos folklóricos. So they, for right, so they're, they're yeah. local. Right, that's amazing. To know how to play. That's really great. Yeah. Well, you know, I think what's amazing amazing is we're here in, in the museum where you see young people are taking lessons from music yeah. you know and I thought that it's was really amazing. impressive yeah. and what is it about the music of Ecuador or Imbabura that's influenced you do you think as a child you know because yeah. you learned all this other classical yeah. music and you're playing new age now all the time the Ecuadorian music is in my blood yeah right right because my father with his radio he used to play that music all the time and right. he was radio is okay and I was a little child and I hear Basilio mm. Pasacalle and mm. Vaso all the time is inside of me. Claro, it's part, so, of, part of your culture, yeah, part of your sangre. It's like como so la comida, no? We live around the mountains, the right. Nabura, Cotacachi, and that is thing in the air. Right, and yeah. you still live here in Ibarra. Yeah. Claro, claro. Even though you travel all over the yeah, world. Travel and, and your family's here. Um, what else would you like people to know about you besides that you're a musician? Well, earlier we were talking a little bit about tennis. You like to play tennis. What yeah. other kind of things do you like to do besides playing yeah, music? Yeah, I love sports, tennis, mm -hmm. squash. Oh, okay. You know, especially right. tennis, squash. Right, right, right. And all sports, maybe climbing, the mountains. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, That's really problem. interesting. Yeah. And so when you go traveling and you're playing music, do you also play tennis? You yes, go tra yes. Climbing? See, yes. And tell us about some of the kind because of, I know you went to on a scholarship to Switzerland. Switzerland and London and Germany. In London, I, I, I study in St. Martin in the Fields. Oh, yes, I've heard of that place. Yeah, okay. yeah. By, by six months. In Switzerland and other countries, I was like one month to attending some track music, okay, okay, okay. composition, harmony, something like that. Hey, you were telling me earlier that you've done some soundtracks with some films or movies or something. So yeah, talk about I wrote music for independent productions in Japan, in China, in Argentina, mm -hmm. Chile. In Ecuador here, my music is part of the TV series like Pasado y Confeso. It's very famous here. So it's like a novella, no? It's una serie. Oh, it's a series. Okay, series. okay. So it's on TV. Okay. It's like yeah. a reality TV? Reality TV, Oh, yeah. okay, okay. That's something interesting. Something like Suspenso... I haven't watched that show. What channel is that? I can't uh, say. Equavisa. Oh, Equavisa. No thing sí. Every Saturday mm -hmm. at 11, a las 11. Do you watch that show, morning. Diego? Yes, it's a program. Sí, yeah, me. Oh, okay. Claro, claro. So it's more of a young person show, like for young people. Or no, it's not. Oh, okay. So, it's, so what's it called again? What's the name again? Pasado y confeso. Pasado y confeso. Okay, Pasado okay. Confeso. And so you do the soundtrack, the music yeah, the part. Like, da, 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 da. The main theme and okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and Diego, um, yeah, Fernando was kind enough to bring a. Yeah, that was part one of our conversation with Fernando Baez at the Museo de Culturas in Cotacachi. In the background, you can hear students taking music classes. This is a beautiful place. Uh, drop by as they have free talleres for children and for adults, I think, too. They have singing classes. So check it out and um, come back uh, after the commercial break. We'll have part two of our interview with Fernando, and you can hear him live Saturday night. <laughs>
Yeah, that was um, Daka Braka from the Ukraine. They're just an incredible band. You should check them out on uh, YouTube. They're really wonderful, especially, you know, we can see them live. So let's uh, talk about our sponsors. We have some really wonderful sponsors, and I want to thank them for being part of the show. First of all, I want you to go to Pandala Bakery, which I know a lot of you are addicted to Yannick's Yummy Bread. So make sure you go there and get some whole wheat seed bread or some baguettes or some of that great breakfast and lunch that he has there's some blueberry pancakes all vegan vegetarian yummy stuff right there on roca fuerte across from la tola de rosario and i believe tuesdays he's going to be serving brunch and lunch again so make sure you check that out whole grain healthy sourdough natural everything's tasty and handmade pandela bakery visit them on facebook if you can also one of our sponsors is Prana, Prana Energia Vital, which is a family-owned business, and they have healthy organic products, handicrafts. They have soaps and wine and cheese and yogurt and all kinds of cool personal care products, and they're located right there on Nueva de Octubre and Roca Fuerte, right down the street from the bakery, Pandala, and they're open Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Go and see Javier and Nelly, and on Thursday, as some of you know, is Pizza Day with Pati, some of the best pizza you can find and. Also, one of my favorite places is La Cuadra Hostel which is and Cafe, which is right there on Modesto Peñarera, which is right near Parque Matriz. And you can go there and stay there or have friends come in their second stay. There. They have a really wonderful breakfast. They have a writer's club that meets there, and they have a really yummy breakfast. And you can call them at 0629160015. The Cuadra is really yummy and tasty place and comfortable to stay. We also want to thank Wolf Puppy Dog Grooming and for all your pet needs in Korokachi. And I just saw somebody's dog who just come from there and they were looking like brand spanking new, Algodon. And so uh, go there. You can find them on W-O-O-F, Wolf Puppy, on Facebook. And so take your cats and your dogs. And if you have a cooey, take your cooey.
and we're back. I want to thank uh, our engineer for helping out today and uh, all the people here at the radio. And uh, here's one of my favorite songs. Send this out to my, my brother in England, Weird Fishes by Radiohead, one of my favorite songs.
Tom York of Radiohead. Why is he not a knight? Come on, Queen Elizabeth. So now we want to go to part two of our interview with Fernando Baez, the Museo de las Culturas. Take it away, Fernando. Listen to the special people who define Kodakachi here on Something to Talk About. other countries what have you found about their their either the national music or the musicians that you've met in these countries it must be really amazing that's it yeah okay so here's the soundtrack for the program very dramatic no dramatic no? yeah. fancy playing piano electric piano or? electric piano and acoustic right, 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 right. No, that's nice this like song that. is here in Okay, I'll have to find that. So I'll find that program on YouTube maybe or something. I'll find it. Yeah. YouTube. And then from here, you're going to play uh, on the 20th in San Antonio de Abajra. And then what other places are you going to travel to? Are you going to have any concerts coming up? Are you going to go around the world, go somewhere else and play? Yeah. In, in fact, I was playing my music uh, 15 years ago in different, co- in different countries. Okay. But New Age music is not commercial here because claro, nobody claro. wants to eat to support the concert. Claro, claro. So I have to play Ecuadorian music, tango music, oh, okay, okay. jazz music, but okay. New Age is like somebody... Because claro. people don't understand it or don't yeah. know it, right, right, right. Or maybe the major hall, they, they don't want to pay for my concert. Right, they, right. They said, mm. Mm, Nobody's going to come, yeah, nobody likes exactly. that. That's interesting. And so that's good because you're adaptable as an artist. Tienes que adaptarte a lo que están aquí, ¿no? So, yeah. I have my, my rock band, mm-hmm. I have my tango quintet, I have my jazz mm-hmm. quartet, my Ecuadorian group. Claro, claro. Everything. Todo. And from all those, which one would you would you really do you enjoy? I mean, you probably like playing all with all of them, but which one do you really enjoy, like, the music? Uh, definitely New Age. Right, right, right. Because it's my... my claro, claro. So it's going to be a little bit... Un poco de todo, ¿no? Un poco de todo. Yeah. In crescendo. Claro, crescendo. So it's going to build, 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 build. Sí. That's really nice. I, I really enjoy, enjoy, sí. claro, I really enjoy claro. new age music, definitely. My question was, so really it's interesting because our parents, you know, so your father giving you some new age music, or is that what it was? That your, Somebody gave you some yeah, new age music like and you heard it? Some program from South Africa. Oh, that's what it was, The right, broadcasting, right. Right. that was my first. That's amazing. Right, since in other words, it's a program, más o menos para extranjeros, pero también para ecuatorianos. What is it you would like extranjeros or Americans or, you know, foreigners who are living here in, in Ecuador to know about your music and about your life as an artist because it's different to be an artist you have a family you know you probably yeah, sure. have children but you're also inside you're a musician you know you have to play music and that's what you have to do you have to travel and so what is it that you want people to know about being a musician being an artist that that's either really good and sometimes it's hard you know because yeah like for you you're saying your passion is new age music but you can't play new age in Ecuador because nobody yeah. wants to hear new age music they want to hear yeah. pasillos they want to hear tango yeah. they want to hear rock yeah that's claro, why claro. that's why I play Ecuador music, tango. Claro, claro, claro. So you adapt. To- I live, yeah, I live from music. I teach music. Right. I have my studio. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wrote music for singers, for bands. Right, right, I right. have arrangements, everything. That claro. is very good when you have to live of music. Right. That's the way. To be adaptive, doing yeah. different things all different the time. Things. Right, right, right. Yeah. Because I think what happens with some musicians is they play like jazz only, or yeah. they play folk music, or, or classical, traditional classical. Yeah. Then if nobody wants to hear it, then they kind of die. They yeah. sort of disappear. Exactly. Desaparecen, no? Entonces, exactly. ya no soy de ellos. So that's good. You've been able to be like a, what they call in, in English a chameleon. Es un animal que cambia los colores, no? Yeah. Adapts yeah. to whatever. Se, se cambia, no? Lo que sí. está pasando. Sí. And so that seems really interesting to me. And then the other question I have for you, what has been one of the the biggest part of your life, some of the groups you've looked uh, up to, musical groups and others, and some of the records that you've made. I saw the CD that you yeah. brought today, and some of the concerts. What's just some of the highlights for you? Some of the concerts or musicians you've met or places you've been? Mm, for me, it's the concerts overseas, mm. maybe Turkey, Japan, China, because it's to expose my music right. with new auditorium. It's like if I play in Quito, if I play in Ibarra, maybe my friends are there. And claro, my claro. Friends, okay, that's, Your parents. Yeah. <laughs> claro. But when you go to other country, very far, that is the... That's when you find out if people yeah. really come, right? Yeah, right, right. people that love music. So those people that haven't been to Turkey or Japan, tell us something about that. How do people receive your music in those countries? Oh, it's, uh, I have no words mm. because I take my traditional instruments, maybe mm-hmm. kena, maybe rondador from Ecuador. Charango is not Ecuadorian, but I take my charango and I play that music. Mm. Maybe my own music 
my composition. Mm -hmm. So wow. that's the best thing because Turkey people or Japanese people are very excited. It's a new thing for them. It's algo nuevo, claro. And I feel the applause of the mm -hmm. clubs mm -hmm. for me. That's the best. But, como se dice, gritando. Oh, they're cheering. Cheering. Cheering, right. That is the best thing. Claro, claro. That's like feeds you. Because in Japan or Turkey, mm -hmm. people is like conservative. Right, they're quiet. They're born. Uh, yeah, yes, right, yes, right. Yeah. More, but, more. The club and right, is make you really happy. And have you been able to play with local musicians when you travel to other countries, like Turkish musicians or Japanese yeah, musicians? Yeah, sure. My first travel, I bought maybe Baglama Saz in Turkey, mm. an instrument from there, mm -hmm. or Shakuhachi in Japan. I learned in the next concert, next year or mm -hmm. two years later, mm -hmm. I played that, that instrument. Claro. I played that instrument. Everybody's calling uh, Fernando. And that is... That must be Wait, amazing. So then they, because like, you know, you're playing their music with their exactly, instruments. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. So to me, it seems like, you know, in English, we say she, he's a Renaissance man. You know what that means, a Renaissance man? Yeah. Que vos aprendes de otras cosas y en, en, lo, en otros tiempos, la gente que sabía de muchas cosas. En tu ejemplo, es musician, you know, you play all these different instruments. And then you don't just play the guitar, you go somewhere and you find an instrument. What is that? And you pick it up and you learn it, you know? <laughs> I think Fernando is very popular. Is what I was calling. So, so then in San Antonio on the 20th, which is Saturday at 7 p.m., what kind of music are you going to be playing there? New Age music. Okay. My compositions, my okay. music, kind of mix from symphonic, rock symphonic, mm -hmm. and jazz, okay. and ethnic music from Ecuador. Oh, okay. But all compositions for... The stuff that you put together from all the different influences yeah, exactly. that you've had, yeah. right? And I wanted to ask Diego a question because Diego doesn't speak English. We're going to talk to him in Spanish. Y Diego, vos estás organizando este evento en el 20, ¿no? Es. Tell yeah. us something about that event on the 20th. Why should people come? Because I've been to your house. Yo he ido a tu casa donde está sí. músico. Vino chileno que estaba tocando la armónica, ¿no? Entonces, yeah. me hizo muy interesante because yeah. in Diego's house in San Antonio, you know, not only is there an art studio there, but he also has a place where you can eat food, which is really wonderful. And his wife and family are there. And then they also have really beautiful art. And then musicians, there's a nice little stage. And we had a really great time the last time I was there. ¿Cuándo era ese que vino chileno para tocar el... Bueno, han habido algunos conciertos. Eh, creo que hicimos dos conciertos. Claro, claro. Pero también han ido personas para ver los conciertos de Mate Taller, con Blues también, de claro. las, de las uh, danza uh, de Belly Dance también mm. hizo otras presentaciones okay. del Hand Room con uh, Christian Amin and so uh, one of the things that Diego wanted to say is he's had a lot of different concerts there and then on uh, that Saturday I think there's going to be a bus to take you from Cotacachi to San Antonio because I mean last time you know it was it was an issue but I think to this time we'll send you information so tell us something about how people can get there and how they're going to get back and all that sí. kind of stuff para ese día puede ser de dos maneras tomando un taxi directamente hasta San Antonio o también vamos a tener una buceta uh -huh. en el parque San Francisco el día sábado 20 uh -huh. a las 6 de la tarde okay. va a estar la buceta aquí el valor del transporte es solamente 2 dólares okay, para cool. ir y regresar so that's a, a good deal. Que termine el concierto. So he's saying that la there's two ways you can get there. You can either take a taxi directly to to San Antonio, or there's going to be a bus, tour bus, a van that'll take you there for two dollars and bring you back. It'll wait for you. So I think it's six o'clock in Plaza San Francisco. If you show up at six p.m., because the concert starts at seven, no? A las siete empieza. Yeah, you know, Ecuador time, como dices, siete y media. Entonces, alguien me dijo, no, Ecuador time es una es no es bueno decir eso, no, pero es la realidad, no? Aquí aquí estará la buceta seis y media más o menos. Yeah, so six. 6 30 the bus will be in plaza san francisco and you can get on the bus you can go to san antonio they'll take you there you can watch the concert you can have dinner and if you're gonna have dinner i think he wants a reservation and you can so they know what to make what kind of food because i think you're a vegetarian but we have vegetarian and all no carne no cuy no that cuy no 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 cuy so no cat yeah no dogs or cats for those of you that are looking forward to that that's not going to happen and so that's really nice of diego you know he organizes this thing and i can tell you his studio is wonderful he's got amazing paintings so if you wanted some art for your house i think he's just an amazing painter he has his own particular style and poco raro, but I think I just love it because it's very different. You know, there's not really Mount Chimborazo and the guy in a llama. So if you want that kind of stuff, that other kind of the typical, la cosa típica, no? So it's different. It's more. Yeah. Claro. So it's more universal. The human touch. You know, he just has beautiful frames, and I, I have friends who have his art in their house. It's just really, really beautiful. So going back to Fernando, I want to know, Diego, cómo es que conociste a Fernando? Son amigos de la escuela. Somos amigos desde la época del colegio, no? Okay. Siempre 
fuimos medios vinculados por el tema de las artes, la música, claro, claro. la radio que él tenía. Claro, claro. Y tenían buena química, ¿no? Claro, Eran claro. Amigos. claro. So claro. Diego was saying Pero that they met in high school. Separamos. Claro, they met in high school. Volvimos a encontrarnos después de muchos años en, un, en una exposición de arte. Okay. En donde Fernando estaba haciendo... Tocando música. Un, estaba haciendo una, una presentación de piano. Oh, ok, ok. Uh, Qué lindo. So Diego was saying that him and uh, Fernando have been friends since high school, you know, since colegio, and then uh, they kind of went their separate ways, and they found each other. Diego was doing doing an exposition, an art show, and then Fernando was there took, uh, playing piano, and they kind of reconnected. And so I think it's really nice. So on the 20th, if you come out, I'm I'm personally going to go. So I hope to see you there and listen to Fernando play his music and look at Diego and his art, meet his wonderful family. His son Diego is an incredible ceramicist. He's a really good artist too. He's another Diego. There's a lot of Diegos here, and Fernando, you can hear his music, and I'm looking forward to. It. I was trying to find his music on Spotify or YouTube. I couldn't find it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. Maybe I couldn't spell. But I'm gonna listen to a CD, and I want to thank him for coming. And qué más, qué más nos quieres? Ah, de que para un poco. Claro, claro. Quisiera dejar el número para las reservaciones. Oh yes, uh, give us the number. El número para. If you want to make reservations, call, and you can make reservations for the food. Go ahead. El 17 que por favor reserven a escribiendo al WhatsApp o al Facebook al Okay, yeah, so so either on Facebook or Messenger or on WhatsApp, you can make your reservations for the food so they know, like, how much to prepare. Yeah, one of the questions, and one of the things I can tell you, I've eaten there, and the food was really nice and really good, really well prepared, and, you know, we had a couple of cerveza, some wine. Yeah, and everything's cool there and, and really clean and beautiful, and the art is beautiful, and always nice to hear music. And, and Fernando, tell us something else about the music, because, you know, you're Ecuadorian, we're Ecuadorian, and I think it's amazing to have a new age Ecuadorian <laughs> playing music here in Ecuador. For whatever we want to call it new age rock jazz it's music no es música no entonces algo que como dices los pasillos la música tradicional de aquí está en tu sangre no like es el mic desde yo como estaba en Estados Unidos I was in the United States pero todos los días estamos oyendo los brillantes oyendo música típica de Ecuador y mi papá toca los discos no so I'm Ecuadorian too even though I grew up with Jimi Hendrix and Pink Floyd y, and I love new age music too and I think some people say oh new age is kind of weird I don't know pero para mí es música como espiritual no es música yeah. cósmica como dice el Diego and for me it's it's like a music that is, touches your soul and it crosses boundaries. Exactly. It's not just Ecuadorian, it's German, it's Turkish, it's Japanese, it's all over the world. So I think, you know, maybe Ecuadorians just aren't exposed to it. Pero aquí la gente es muy ignorante de las cosas que son diferentes, ¿no? Exactly. Saben de los pasillos, saben de sí, las cosas. So we want to encourage Ecuadorian, también los ecuatorianos de Cotacachi que vengan, no tengan miedo de salir de la casa y ir a San Antonio. San Antonio es muy tranquilo, muy lindo el, el pueblo, ¿no? Y la casa de Diego, ahí están bienvenidos, está bien, muy bonito vez que yo fui, estaba tranquilo y lindo y regresamos y contentos todos ¿no? en esa experiencia, so I want to encourage you to come on the 20th, like I said, it's not any easier than you just get on the bus, you get there the bus brings you back, and it can't get any easier except, you know, if you just take a, a taxi, you can do that too, but this will be two dollars to get there and back, that's really muy barato ¿no? me parece. En la buseta hasta donde el cupo es limitado, también el bus no es tan grande. Claro, claro. Pero también allá puede conseguir taxi amigos. Claro, claro. So crees como unas 10 personas, cabe unas 10 o más 14, okay, so you know we can take up to 14 people. So get there early. Como dice, como las seis, seis y media. Yeah. Sí, igual se puede hacer porque solamente son 20 minutos allá. Claro, right. Se puede hacer dos viajes también. Claro, yeah. It only takes 20 minutes, so it's really close. And I want to thank Fernando. ¿Y qué más Fernando nos puede contar de la música, de las cosas que vos quieres hacer? Porque todavía estás joven, ¿no? Bueno, a mí me encanta componer, poner y, right, y ahora composing. tengo mi música nacional ecuatoriana, mm. un disco propio de 15 canciones mm. con mm. letra y música. Mm e invité a los más destacados cantantes, dúos, tríos de la ciudad porque claro. yo no soy cantante y eso me gusta mucho porque aparte de integrar es algo hecho por alguien de acá y son todo inédito ¿no? y estás colaborando, colaborando como dice, sí, con right? la música ecuatoriana que se está perdiendo porque claro. el repertorio de los que tocan algo ahora es de hace 40, 50 años las mejores claro, composiciones claro. o más y algo nuevo se está perdiendo a veces claro. aparece una versión nueva con algún cambio pero ya pierde la esencia nuestra claro, claro. es rescatar But Fernando was saying he was bringing back that music. He's recorded a CD of traditional Ecuadorian music and he gathered a lot of great musicians from Ecuador and singers because he's not a singer and he's put out this record of traditional music and I wanted to ask him something for el otro día fui a un concierto y alguien dijo que hay personas que están haciendo la nueva música no como la techno cumbia por ejemplo no y que alguien me estaba diciendo que ellos están matando la música de Ecuador que es la culpa de ellos and I was thinking dos cosas me estaba pensando que es cierto que están matando pero también es algo nuevo que está it's metamorphosizing it's changing está cambiando porque la persona no puede decir que Fernando está matando la música 
música de Ecuador, porque estás haciendo música de Ecuador, pero también estás haciendo la música de New Age, ¿no? Claro. Claro, pero me gusta que estás rescatando, he's rescuing, he's bringing back that traditional music because it's in his blood. Me encanta eso. ¿Cómo se llama este disco? What is that Cosmovisión. Record? Cosmovisión. Cosmovisión. So, es música del Ecuador. Es del Ecuador. Claro. Ritmos nuestros, Pasacalle, Albazo, San Juanito, Yaraví, Bomba, hay un vals. El vals es criollo, el vals es extranjero. Ah, qué lindo. Pero tiene todo eso que es claro. parte nuestra. Y usas los instrumentos también andinos y músicas de sí, aquí. Sí, claro, claro. claro, claro. Claro, en San Juanitos hay quenas, charangos, Claro, bongos, claro, claro. Y... Tienes unos proyectos que, porque siempre como artistas soñamos de cosas, quiero hacer esto, quiero tocar con esta persona, quiero ir a este país, quiero tocar en este, claro. en este, en este escenario, ¿no? ¿Qué claro. cosas? Te... Sin duda, los escenarios del mundo serán claro. el, el sueño de tocar algún día. Claro. Pero más allá de eso, es lo que estamos viendo aquí, mm. que Ibarra tenga alguna vez un, un conservatorio, claro, no claro. una escuela de música, un conservatorio. Ese mm. es el sueño que siempre he dicho todos los años, y es el sueño de algunos. Claro. Y explícanos, ¿qué es un conservatorio? Pero hay que comenzar como acá. Es como una escuela donde enseñan Exacto. música, es un conservatorio. Sí. So he's saying one of his dreams is to have a conservatory of music in Ibarra, and that, you know, that's one of the things he really likes to see, not just a place where people go and play music. Entonces, lo que te digo como artista, como yo era maestro de inglés, es que a veces toca uno, no esperar que otra persona haga, pero nosotros mm -hmm. tenemos que hacer, y yo te puedo ayudar en cualquier manera, ¿no? Y la cosa es que porque si esperamos, nos, yeah. nos morimos, porque yeah. la gente dice, nah, como decía, muchos de los ancianos no quieren hacer nada diferente, ¿no? Dicen, ah, que alguien hace, o es muy político, ¿no? It's very political, so I was telling him that sometimes it takes us to start the things that we want to see, like a conservatory of music, porque we're young, tenemos energía, sí, you know, yeah. y ahí tenemos las ganas, como dicen los mexicanos, hay que tener ganas, ¿no? Y tener el orgullo. Entonces, I think that's a great thing to have a conservatory, because, you know, we're here at el Museo de las Culturas, and there's young people learning music, I mean, we're, there are musicians from the Banda Municipal that are here teaching music, and it's just wonderful to see young people. Sí. ¿Qué más nos cuentas, Fernando? ¿Qué más? Los proyectos, my new records, my new music, is coming, is coming maybe next year. Okay. Yeah, my new CDs, and in different, different kind of music. Okay. In New Age, in mm -hmm. Ecuadorian music, okay. tango. Oh, uh, tango, okay. This is my tango CD, this is the, it's coming, this is coming. Okay, and you play piano on the tango play, CD. Yeah, I play right. piano in Band Onion. Oh, okay, okay. Bandonion is my dream. Okay. I, I went to Argentina to study Bandonion. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It's very, very hard instrument. And what is it? What is it like? It's, it's like accordion. Okay. It's like cousin from accordion, but it's not like accordion. Okay, it's, it's different. very difficult. It's very. It's hard to play. Hard to play. Yeah. Claro, claro. But I study Bandonion mm -hmm. in Argentina. It's oh, my nice. dream because I dream to play Bandonion. And you found somebody to teach you, and you yeah, learned it, and you sure. bought an instrument, right? It's in scholarship. In oh, nice. Too. So, instrumental music is oh, for okay. other people. Okay. To maybe you are resting. Just background music. music but it's right? not. It's not New Age music. Okay. It's Ecuadorian music. Maybe some Colombian music. Okay. Tango music. It's like South American. Oh, Cicato si Barberi. I know him as yeah. a jazz musician. Claro. Exactly. What are some of the musicians? Because you know, I, I love music, and I never played music, but you know, I, I paint and I write. You're a poeta. What are some of the musicians that you would love to play with or musicians that influenced your life you know or influence you even today musicians that you say like man i would love to play with that musician yeah. or i would love to go see that musician or meet them or, or share my music with them so what are some of the musicians for you because i know for me it's like i grew up with Jimi hendrix i grew up with Pink floyd i grew up with you know just amazing musicians that i listened to and i got to see concerts so what are some of the musicians that you really admire and you would love to say i would love to play with no that doubt with Bach, Beethoven, Mozart, claro. and Piazzolla, Piazzolla is mm. ooh, yeah and when i was in argentina mm -hmm. My Bandonian teacher was playing with Piazzolla. So oh, okay. Oh. So Piazzolla, I don't know him. He's a famous musician in Argentina. Yeah, Argentina. Okay, and what, is, what instrument would he play? Bandonian. Bandonian, okay, yeah. okay. I have to look that up. So that's so that's it. You want to add anything, Diego? Diego's over here. ¿Qué, qué tipo de comida van a ofrecer ahí en, yeah. en, en la Casa Roja, se llama, no? Piedra Roja. Piedra, Piedra, Piedra Roja. Piedra. 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 Habrá desde bebidas, lo que es vino, ron, cerveza, okay, beer and jugos wine, natura, naturales, natural juices, café, right? té, coffee and tea, mojitos. Mojitos, ok, good. Habrá, Everybody likes mojitos. Habrá pollo, cerdo al horno. Ok, so it'll be chicken and pork vegetariana. and vegetarian. Ok, good. Y But no cuy. No cuy ni <laughs> perro ni no, no dog and no cat, so don't worry about that. You're Todo eh, saludable, no... Everything healthy, con right? especies naturales. Claro, claro. And I've eaten there, and I can tell you the food is really tasty, and like I said, his wife is wonderful, his family is really warm, and it's a really beautiful place. And even if there's 20 people there, it's just también, a beautiful place. Y también para que puedan ver unas nuevas piezas de arte que tengo, que claro. tiene que ver con la selva, claro. con la música, todas las obras nuevas que tengo ahora. So Diego has a new piece 
places that you like to see um, inspired by the jungle, inspired by Kemas, and the music. And so I think that's one of the things that see this tie in here because I always like to collaborate with musicians. Yo no soy músico, pero siempre me gustaba. Yo tengo un CD de spoken word, de poemas. Entonces yo trabajaba con artistas como ti. Y yo decía, voy a leer un poema. I'm going to read a poem now, and it's going to be kind of like this, in the, like improvised, no como jazz. Y vos toca y yo leo. Entonces me gusta que Diego también él hace. Pero podrías con... leer tú también uno de tus poemas. Claro, yeah, maybe I'll read one of the poems. And maybe I'll collaborate with Die with uh, sure. with uh, Fernando. I just wrote a poem. My mother died last month, and so I wrote a poem about my mother, no, porque mi madre tenía más de 90 años. Entonces vivió una vida linda. She had a beautiful life. And so, yeah, and so I wanted to dedicate. See, so what I do is my mother dijo esto. I can see viviendo. Siempre cuando falleció mi papá hace cinco años, I can see viviendo. And so you know, I'm not going to be sad and say, oh, yo me acabo la vida, because my mother taught me to be strong, be an artist, and be a teacher, and be doing things that I'm doing now. And I have a radio show like your father did, you know. And so I get to interview artists and musicians. I went to the Pirámides de Kochaski. Que está lindo allá, ¿no? Hablando de nuestros antepasados, los quitucaras. Yeah. Qué inteligente esa gente, ¿no? Entonces uno se da cuenta que no somos ignorantes. Somos unas personas, pero muy sabias, ¿no? Entonces no somos tontos. We're not dumb people. Ecuadorian, we come from amazing people. The quitucaras. Not the Incas. The Incas are only here por un rato, ¿no? Entonces los quitucaras, los que estaban gigantes, ¿no? En Ibarra, por aquí, ¿no? So I want to thank Fernando. Y la última cosa que quieres que sepan, la gente. Nada, que, que vayan. Que vayan come. a la Piedra Roja. Come, Piedra yeah. Roja. Yeah, on Saturday. Roja, New Age concert. New Age concert yeah, with Fernando Paez. Art y buena comida. Y Music, yeah. art, buena comida. Like we say in Spanish, ¿qué más quieres? ¿Qué más quieres? ¿Qué más quieres? No? So, y, y sobre todo, casi gratis. And it's almost free. I mean, you know, really, you get some great music, you get some good food, and maybe you can buy some art or get some stuff and meet the artist Diego. He's a really great friend. And, and, and it's really reasonably priced art. Fernando's going to be playing. He's going to have some CDs there. And so you can pick up some music. We can find Yeah. So we'll, we'll remind him to have some CDs and just come and meet them because music and art we don't always have that in Cotacachi so I encourage you to come out Saturday the 20th 6 o'clock 6.30 the van will pick you up take you to San Antonio de Ibarra bring you back you'll be back in bed before 10 and so it'll be okay right? That was Fernando Baez and Diego Putron La Casa de Culturas and tomorrow night 6.30 in Plaza San Francisco you can take a ride to San Antonio with me and we'll go listen to some music eat some food and look at some art so thank you that was In Other Words tune in next week thank you for all of you watching live on Facebook and saludos despedidas que vayan bien thank you for listening to our program in other words we will see you again next Friday at the same time 4 p.m. on Radio Pública Coracachi 93.5 FM Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore you are all I love for